Good evening, everybody. What, what up? <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Not gonna hold you guys much longer. What up, what up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. Go ahead and click that subscribe button to be a part of the Witness Game to join the Witness Nation. Now let's get into this, shall we? Hello, you guys, and welcome to the channel. If you're new, don't be. Okay. I'm Whitney. Keep the cute, get the boo. Your girl, as whack as she is in all her glory, was in the New York Times. All right, you guys, welcome back. Just to um, uh, disclaim everybody, this platform discusses any and all information that has been made known to the public in any way. I am not, I am not a journalist. I am a commentator, okay? The information is all alleged, but the commentary is very real, okay? Because it's coming from what, okay? So good evening, everybody, and welcome to Whitney D TV. Okay, now um, you know I uh, hope you guys enjoyed me bringing back our series that we started a long time ago. Where were the parents? If you guys weren't able to uh, check that out, it came on before we came on here at seven thirty. Check it out. Okay, it's about um, Melissa Blair, if I'm not mistaken. And um, the thing is, is that it didn't start with R. Kelly. And unfortunately, it's not going to end with R. Kelly. And when you have stories like this, what we're going to be discussing on tonight, it's, 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 it's disturbing that this is something that is genuinely a normality in the industry, okay? But before we get into everything, you guys, hello and welcome. Welcome, 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 okay? I want to greet everybody accordingly, okay? So welcome. Please put your city in or state in the chat. This is not going to be a long, drawn-out um video um you, you guys know that I, I come with you guys on um on thursday with straight talk but not for nothing welcome 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 make sure you put your city um 
in the chat so i'll know where you guys are tuning in from hey if you're tuning in from um facebook i'm not live tonight because uh my phone was dead y'all my phone stayed dead okay but make sure you guys keep it cute so you won't get the boot okay i see katie's in the building all right so tread lightly all right make sure you subscribe and like this video okay uh share this video sharing absolutely caring okay whenever i found out about the story i was intrigued okay so if you're intrigued make sure you share it if you would like to join this platform, my channel, which is dope, why wouldn't you? <laughs> I mean, you can find the link in the description box, okay? Hey, ZB, in the building, my sissy poo. Hey, Z, representing Dallas, okay? Not for nothing, if you would like to support me on a monetary basis, you can do so by sending me a cash out to Whitney DTV87, okay? And I will highly appreciate that, okay? Hold on, y'all. Let me get my monitors up because sometimes we be having some crazies and I don't be seeing what's going on, okay? Last but certainly not least, if you would like to send me um, any kind of uh, love packages or, or, or what have you, you can do so by sending it to my P.O. box, which is located here at the bottom of the screen, okay? Um, and yeah. Let's go ahead and get into this show. I'm just getting my monitor pulled up. In the meantime, in between time, I ask that you guys please share this video, okay? All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it, all right? I'm just getting everything pulled up. Okay. Um. Again, shout out to Katie, my beautiful mod. Hey, Katie, thank you for uh, representing. And of course, my ZV represent Dallas. Yeah, you know how we do. Hey, Z, tuning in from Facebook. Again, thank you, people that are watching from Facebook. I love y'all so very much. If you guys do not mind taking out the time to share this video, okay? Share, share, share this video, all right? Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it, okay? Let me go ahead and pull up everything and get everything underway and i know you guys are probably like who is this who are we talking about well again like i said it doesn't stop at r kelly okay this these situations happen quite often and we don't really talk about it because it's not r kelly well i should know me by now okay i'm going to talk about it all right so who is this you guys say okay let me introduce you guys all right Nicole TV, also known as Kayla Nicole Jones, is an American YouTuber and social media personality who has a net worth of a million dollars, okay? She is mainly known for her beauty tips, okay? Rap songs and interesting videos that make anyone laugh on her YouTube channel, okay? Many of you guys may uh, remember uh, this particular meme of her. Let me go to it, okay? How many of you guys remember this particular meme of this uh, young lady, okay? I even remember it, okay? Um, and she had me rolling, all right? I, I was like, what? Why would she do this? Why would she do this, okay? Well, she is in the news, okay? And it is because... of this fella. Sorry, y'all, just, my phone just got charged back up and it's something, something, something. Hey, hey, Amisa, hey, honey bunches. Welcome, welcome, welcome. All right, well, good. I see some of you guys know her, okay? Well, she's in the in the news because this dude, all right? See, R. Kelly's wrong rapid through and through the industry. It doesn't just stop. That's why, again, when people be trying to come at me about, oh, you always talk about R. Kelly. No, no, no. I talk about Trey Songs. Okay, I talk about Harvey Weinstein, okay? And I talk about this dude right here, all right? You guys just don't pay attention, all right? But not for nothing, okay? She and this dude, and you're probably like, well, who is this dude? Okay, now allow me to introduce you to Jamal Finch Fincher Jones, okay? Um, professionally known as Pablo Dadon, okay? He's an American record producer, songwriter, and rapper. All right. Okay. Again, Whitney, what, what, what about them? Why are they in the news? Okay. YouTube influencer, Nicole TV sues this particular producer, uh, Polo. I said Pablo, Polo the Don for breach of contract. Why? Claims he seduced her 
when she was 18 and he was 40. Yeah. Well, Whitney, well, she's legal. Well, I mean, who cares? She's legal, right? Okay. Let's be real. That's the settlements exactly for a lot of people when you hear a legal age or a consenting age, okay? And that's why I was telling you guys in lieu of con consent or consent, I just don't like the abuse. It's the abuse for me, okay? It's the abuse. All right. So let's go ahead and get into this read. All right, let me go ahead and stretch this out so you guys can see just in case if you guys are um, reading along with me. All right. And then we're going to get into a conversation, okay, as to why this is disturbing and why is this what we can suspect from the industry, okay? All right. Popular YouTube influencer. Oh, and this is reported by um, Sandra Rose, okay, dot com. Shouts out to SandraRose.com. Popular YouTube influencer, okay, Kayla Nicole Jones filed a lawsuit against music producer Polo Zodan, alleging breach of contract and breach of, of, of literacy duty, among other complaints. According to court documents obtained by SandraRose.com, the plaintiff allegedly, sorry, y'all, allegedly began a sexual relationship with Polo, real name Jamal Jones, as you guys heard me say, when she was only 18. Okay? That's Nicole right there. The plaintiff was 17, okay? when she created her YouTube channel, Nicole TV, which grew to over 5.4 billion subscribers, self-made, okay? Nicole released her song, Late Nights, in 2019. The song created a buzz and attracted the attention of Polo, who sent her a DM about helping her career in the music industry, uh-huh. Doesn't this sound familiar, okay? Doesn't this sound quite familiar? Okay. Saw a golden opportunity in which to seize the moment, if you will, with this young lady, because now she's popping. Now she's hot. Let me help you further your career, right? But everybody want to say, oh, people use people and stuff like that for the industry. Well, idiots. Yeah. If, if, if I'm here and you're here on this pinnacle, of course. Yes, of course, of course, okay? But you're not supposed to take advantage of that. During intimate pillow talk with the teen, Polo allegedly discussed terms of a recording um, agreement um, between her and um, Polo's record label, Zone 4. Zone 4 was also named as a defendant in the lawsuit. So she is doing what basically Cardi B to uh, Cardi B did to Tosh K. She's suing him individually and the company. All right. Which is smart to do. Okay. Smart to do. Get both pockets. But in most cases, you know, the company has um, a LLC, which is liable um, um, to be able to, you know, take care of stuff like this. On the night before signing the agreement with Zone 4, Polo allegedly spent the night with Nicole. The next day, September 19, 2019, Polo drove Nicole to his recording studio where he illegally plead, uh, uh, legally uh, applied the underage girl with alcoholic beverages, okay? So this is where the plot twists, twists. This is where it gets illegal, okay? For those in the background saying, where she was 18, where she was 18, what to do, 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 it's illegal. She can't even buy her own self a drink, but she can consent to a 40 year old man. Make it make sense, but this is America. Hey, Bobo. When, oh, it goes on to say, um, while continuing to discuss the terms of contract, okay? So she's under the influence. So two things. How can you consent to being sexual with somebody? 
Sorry, y'all. They playing. They playing. Sorry, y'all. How can you, one, legally consent? <laughs> Sorry, y'all. They, they playing, y'all. That's why I said it's not going to be long, okay? How can you legally consent to being sexually involved with someone, for one? Two, how can you sign a contract under the influence? Okay? But let's continue with the article, right? Sorry, y'all. My, my son is, is excited, okay? All right. It goes on to say, when the teenager asked Polo, her manager could review the agreement, Polo allegedly refused and insisted that she sign the agreement immediately. Mind you, she's under influence, but she's coherent enough to be like, no, let me, let me get, let me, let me, let me see if my manager can look over this. The leery of people that pressure you to make a decision before consulting, um, uh, legal advice be very leery no right now see that's the devil the devil don't want you to think things through that's why you hurt people that's why you abuse people that's why you don't read that's why you just assume because see the de the devil is in the details and if you read those de details thoroughly you will make the choices you make. What's up? Come get this commentary too. Hey, honey bunches, you're just on time. The devil's in the details. Let's continue. She expressed concerns about sharing her YouTube revenue 50-50 with Polo. Mind you, nigga, I've been had this channel before I was before you was digging me down. Let's let's just let's just put it out there. Ain't that some trifling, 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 scandalous stuff? So you mean to tell me that I'm supposed to share my YouTube channel with you 50-50 because we're sexually involved. But let's continue. After much debate, she signed the agreement. Hey, Kamiko. Hey, Asia. Hey, y'all. She signs the agreement. Keep 85% of the substantial ad, um, ad revenue from her YouTube channel. Giving him the rest of the percentage. Are you kidding me? She signs it. The article continues to say the complaint alleges that the teenager was intoxicated and she was not represented by an attorney at the time she signed the agreement. Okay. It goes on to say the complaint also alleged that Nicole was not paid in advance by zone four. And Polo eventually lost interest in her career after their sexual relationship ended. Come on now. Y'all hear that? I got what I wanted and tossed her to the wayside. Manipulation. Manipulation at its best. Nicole wants relief from the court by releasing her from the zone for agreement. Additionally, plaintiff is requesting reasonable attorney's fees and expenses of no less than $25,000. A judge granted a stay in discovery so the two parties can negotiate a settlement. The discovery stay ends next week. Nicole is represented by Tanya Mitchell, Graham, Esquire, and Polo is represented by King and Ballo. Ballo. So let's get into this conversation, shall we? Okay. Let's get into this conversation, all right? Those that are coming and tuning in, hello, welcome, all right? Hello and welcome, all right? 
Okay, those that are tuning in, you guys are gonna have to run this back, all right? Okay, so this is extremely ridiculous. It's disturbing to say the utmost least. And let's be honest, let's be clear, okay? It's legal. She's 18. But what makes it illegal and where the issue comes in, when he gave her the alcohol, okay? That was illegal, all right? That was illegal. Okay, I'm just trying to get the, um. okay, there we go. All right, so let's have a discussion. Let's have a debate, a real quick one. Hold on one second, my producer is calling. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, okay. They do too much. All right, baby. Thank you. Okay, let's let's have a conversation, you guys. Okay, let's let's have a real discussion. Okay. This is the reason why I have an issue when people say, you know, well, she's legal. Because it's acidine to me that at the age of 18, you are of consenting age to be able to have sex with a 40 year old man, but you can't even buy yourself a drink. Can somebody make it make sense? Can somebody make that make sense for me? Cause it just don't make sense. And then my thing is, is that Nigga, I know you lying. You mean to tell me you're going to try to put this in the contract? That you want 50% of my monies from a platform that I started and created for myself? I know you lying. But see, this is the reason why he was trying to make her immediately make a choice. Uh, no, sign this. Do this now. Because had she read in the details, like I said, she would have been like, oh, no, nah, brother. In the words of um, uh, um, season and brother, New York. Uh-uh. I know you lying. This is seriously unfortunate, to say the least. And... This nigga swooped it in during pillow talk. And she grown. I mean, she's 18. I can't really say nothing about that. Let's talk about you giving her drink underage and let's be real. How many of us know that happens quite often? Okay, let, like don't let's like, like we not even finna trip. We, we know that happens quite often. You go to some adult places and they, they, they gonna give you drink. Period. Period. However, you trifling. How are you going to discuss business while she's intoxicated? How, how are you going to do that? How, how that works away? How? So she has not came out with a statement. She didn't even bring this up. It just came out. Um, so this is not something she's not playing a victim or anything like that. Um, I myself still, I feel like she's a victim because that was, he, he manipulated her. He manipulated the situation so much so she signed. She signed on the freaking dotted line. She signed. Sorry, y'all, my husband getting me together. She signed on the dotted line. Okay. Hold on one second, y'all.
Let me see what you guys have to say. Hey, Kwana. Kwana says, okay, hi, y'all. Bye, y'all. I got to do playback. I'm late. It's okay. I'm, I'm a, um, this, this video is not going to be that long. I just wanted to get this information out here and, and have a, and have a dialect. This is unfortunate because some men play on that. I was a victim before. I'm sorry to hear that. And that's why I be telling people, hey, Monique, hey, honey. That's why I be telling people, yo, this is not just the R. Kelly situation. What are we talking about? That's why when people be yelling out, hold on. That's why when people have the nerve, the audacity, the nipigated goal to yell out about the likes of the Azriels, the uh, the um, the Joy Savages and all sort that were seeking a means of a come up in a sense of celebrity status. Like, are you are you kidding? Are are you serious? Of course. That's just like me. If I can get it connections with a Gail King or Oprah or something like that. I'm going to jump on it. I'm going to jump on whoever is going to be the connecting factor in that. What are we talking about? So much so you see this situation with this. This baby was a YouTuber, but got a, a, got a good talent there. That's just like me. I'm a YouTuber, but I mean, my everybody seems to love my straight talks. What if somebody reaches out to me and says, hey, Whitney, we could put you on a bigger platform and it's just going to be about straight talks. You just give your advice like you've been doing. But then they try to dupe me in a contract or they try to take advantage of me sexually, uh, uh, put something in my drink. Because I'm just going to be, we, we, this can be a mix of straight talk right now, but baby, because I'm very satisfied with my husband. Baby, you will never, okay? I As many times I've had that, absolutely opportunity to cheat on my husband i whitney have not don't want to ain't nothing out there trust i'm satisfied in every which a which away so if anything come apart about me doing anything to my husband by like the means of stepping out this trick nigga drugged me okay nigga you drugged me you drugged me because i'm i'm good okay i'm good So my thing is, is that you don't take advantage of people that are trying to be, um, trying to use you. And, and when we hear use, it, it, it sounds bad. But see me, you can't use me because I give willingly, okay? If somebody asks me for some help, it's aside from services, okay? Now, you know, chick, I'm not, I'm not cheap, okay? But I'm worth it. But... If if I'm a if I'm a if I'm a bridge to an opportunity, and I see you're in a sense, um, not necessarily desperate, but are really looking for opportunity. Why in the hell? And I do mean hell because that's hell. That's hell like behavior. Will I manipulate and, and use that situation? Why? Okay, she's grown, she's 18. Maybe there was a sexual situation that happened cool, fine, and dandy. But the moment when you made that stuff business, it's the uh, white one, baby. Mm -hmm. Do we got 3460 on the back? All right, so, yep, that's it. Um, if you want to text me when you get there, I'll turn it on. Turn it on. Oh. Um, you don't take advantage of that. That's why when uh, that's why I just I I just have no understanding. I don't. I don't. I'm in childcare. Do you know the many times and opportunities that I could have been on the news? Yeah, we're gonna talk about it. Do you know the many times I could have been on the news? Another teacher messing around with a student. Yeah, because the little little knucklehead little boys. Thought I was one of them because I'm little, you know what I'm saying? I'm, 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 you know, I'm boisterous, I'm playful. But not one time did I ever get out of pocket with anybody's child. Because 
that ain't my thing. That does nothing for me. That's why, again, I'm going to say it very clear. You can't set somebody up that don't like the bait. Period. This is the industry, folks. Welcome. Welcome. Okay? How many people was on that registry to go to that island with Epstein? Are we going to talk about it? Some of your faves. That's why he had to disappear. This is the industry. This is the industry. Holly Weird. Music, film, YouTube. This is the industry, people. And this is what you can expect. And why you guys expect anything less, I don't understand. How many of these stories are we going to hear before we hold the people that are doing the issue accountable? I guarantee you this probably wasn't the first time. I guarantee you this probably wasn't um, the only teenager that he messed with. Mind you, she's 18. She's still a teenager. 19. They're still a teenager. If you ask me, I feel like the constitutional laws need to change when it comes to that. Because, um, no. Child. I mean, you got grown women that get, excuse my French, digmatized. So you mean this child knew how to distinguish and decipher pillow talk from business? I don't think so. So my overall thesis in regards to this whole particular situation is that unfortunately she's of illegal consent and age. So if anything is to transpire from this, it should be that this nigga drops this freaking contract. Nigga, you know you did it wrong. And people, y'all have to understand how you get something is, is definitely how you're going to lose it. If you get a deal shysty, you're going to lose it in the same respect. And he got it shysty. Thought that he can swindle his, his, his way because you weren't checking for before she was popping. Okay. But all of a sudden, let me help you with your career. And then somehow, in way, shape, or there, you, you're, you're laying down with her now. Chat, please. Let me see what you guys are saying in the comments. Monique says, I got to watch the playback, but I'm going to stay till the end uh, right now. Thank you. Amisa says, I really do because my baby will be 18 soon. Lord forbid for that man that does, I'm going to be in jail. Period, poo. Entertainment or not. It, and that's why people, it trips me out when people be like, it couldn't be me. It ain't going to be me. I'm going to do that in third. Like, I watched this baby. I watched Nicola TV. But none of us knew this is what she was going through on the back end. It could be anybody. It could be your sons. It could be your daughters. What you think you instill in them is going to be tested. Like I said, you can't put no underage little boy in front of me and I'll be like, oh, well, it does nothing for me. Just like no shame. A true preference. You put a white man before me, have him drop his drawers. I'm 
Nothing, nothing, nothing at all. It just it does nothing, okay? So you can't put no teenage boy in front of me that maybe is trying to get into this industry with YouTube and says, Whitney, I really love your graphics. Can you please help me? Oh, and I see what you're doing, you know, in the community for, um, you know, sexual abuse. Can you help me? And I'm like, yeah, I can help you. I, what the hell? Do the business and get it done. But it's sinister. This is the industry. It don't stop at R. Kelly, people. And unfortunately, it's not going to end with him. I mean, it didn't start with R. Kelly, and unfortunately, it's not going to end with him. It's not. It's not. Again, she's of consenting age. But I think it's trifling as hell the way he did this to this young lady. And you know what you're doing when you take advantage of a situation, period. I know as a grown woman how I can manipulate my kids. I'm We're going to be honest with you before I wrap this up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know how to have Demi come in and be like, yeah, baby, this and that third. Yeah. Can you go get mama some juice? And she does it with pure pleasure, not knowing that I just juked up. Okay? I can get up and do it myself, but I want you to. We as adults can be very manipulative, especially when we know that we hold something in our hands that another person wants. That's manipulation. That's a Jezebel spirit. And y'all better know that that manipulative witchcrafty jezebelian i don't even know these words spirit goes rapid in hollywood this is not just this is just another example of it this why i'm unapologetic for my stance when it comes to r kelly we are stop we're going to stop deflecting and we're going to hold that pervert accountable period You don't hold an opportunity in your hand for a person and then say, what you gonna do to get it? That's evil. And I don't care if this baby was 18 years old. Why did you have to get her drunk? Why did you, why did you have to get her intoxicated? This is something she should wanna do. That's like, just like this whole um, situation. Remember when they first started out with the, the jab and they were just like, get yours today and you can get free tickets to a Beyonce concert. Well, should not just be happy to get the, uh, and, and be okay with that. Why is there gotta be incentives? Just like this situation. Well, shouldn't I just want to sign up with you, nigga? Why you gotta, why I gotta get a drink on top of that? Why you gotta ping me down? Make it make sense. Now you do got some people that are willing to go the extra mile. They're gonna go for the gold. But not everybody that links up with a celebrity wants to sleep with them. No, that's just not what it is. Not every person that has a talent wants to be abused, wants to be swindled, wants to sign on a dotted line of a raggedy contract. Let's see what you guys have to say. Kamiko says, if you know someone who needs to hear these messages, please share this video. These are good lessons. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. And this is the reason why people irritate me when they be like, oh, Wendy, you just talk about R. Kelly. No, baby. Baby, what are we talking about? We have endless stories like this. It's countless stories about this going on in the industry. Unfortunately, these things go under the cracks.
There's countless stories like this. What are we talking about? Well, we just heard about the likes of Lady Gaga. Wait, I think it was like last year, her coming down and saying that the, one of the, the producers and stuff, you know, great her. Take the G off. Okay? But what, what irritates me is that you constantly saw the race game happen. But she wanted to. That's what she get. That's what she get. See, when you black, that's what you get. Yeah. See, when you black, that's what your fast tail get. See, when you black, nobody cries tattoo tears for you. Cause you strong. You a strong black girl. You should have known better. Your parents shouldn't have did better for you. But nobody questions the little white girl that willingly, willfully drops their head down like it's hot and bob and weave on it, but comes out only because she didn't get that far in life. Nobody questions her when she wins million dollar lawsuit settlements and stuff like that. Oh, but when a young black girl discreetly pulls out a criminal, no money, lawsuit against somebody for justice for the crime that was put on her. Because nobody heard about this. Have, did y'all hear about this before I said anything? Probably. But did y'all hear about this baby? Broadcasting it, trying to get sympathy. No. Because see us little black girls suffer in silence. Because if, if we come out, it's deflective all the way around. Oh, well, she should have known better. Oh, she fast. She wanted it. She knew what she was getting into. Where was her parents? Nigga, what, what, what? He did. He did this. I don't give a darn if I'm pussy popping on the hand scared. If I'm not of consenting age, hold on, y'all. My, my son in here. Sorry, y'all. If I'm not of a, a consenting age or if I'm not coherent to say yes or no in a situation, nigga, back up. What are we talking about? But we're so deflective. And we always, we always give the victimizer the level playing field. But the victims, oh, figure it out. Especially if you're black. Queen Key says, I watched her way back then in 18. Um, in 18, he probably been peeping her when she was underage. Like real talk. Cause it's very, it's very unsettling to me that. Y'all just popped up in this relationship. It's just, it's, it's weird. It's weird. How convenient. Now she's of consenting age of 18. Now you pursuing her. When she been having this platform since she was 17 years old. And Cora Miles would like to know if that's the real age. You know, but again, she's not coming out with this. 
So very, very, very interesting. Queen Keish also says, some men try to seduce and think they can have sex with you for you to move up even at a job. Yes, that's what I'm saying. This does not just um, start with R. Kelly, okay? It didn't start with him. And unfortunately, because it's so normalized and normal in the industry, just like how I read the whole situation with cheer, that Jerry, the, 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 the cheer coach dude that just got um, pled guilty, it happened to him. He said so he thought it was normal to mess with the other cheerleaders there. R. Kelly been doing this for years. Just, I mean, even giving his little cooties away for years. Because he said, oh, everybody been having it. Everybody had it in the 90s. Nigga, everybody don't want it, though. I had sonic herpes. Oh, where do I sign? Nigga, why is it legal? Give people a choice. Entertainment or not, we, yes, entertainment or not. Quinky says, we are intended, we are indeed the least protected as black girls and women. Yes, and that's why I'm sorry. I don't give a darn who I uh, offend with my skin. I am going to forever hold the victimizer accountable for his deeds, period, 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 period. I don't care. It's nothing that you can say that can redirect me from that. Period. You can yell at a parent. You can. Because my point is, if that was a situation where you were set up, get out of the setup. If it was a situation where she seduce you get out the seduction she's underage she's not a consenting age but you have master manipulators like this that you literally rolled up off of her from between her legs we read y'all this was pillow talk you roll from between her legs to talk about business? Nigga, how convenient. Manipulative. How convenient. Hey, it's so baby. Hey, honey. How convenient. This is the industry, y'all. This is the industry. And I feel as though we're going to see a lot more of these situations and these cases transpire. Because a lot of these victims and alleged victims and on sort um, get silenced. Get accused of wanting it. Get accused of being fast. Get accused of being grown. And oh, well. And like I say, I don't care how old you are. I don't think it's right for you to be abused, period. No way, shape, or form do I believe that it's okay to abuse someone. I don't care how old you are. And I feel like a lot of people like balance it out. If they're of a uh, consenting age, well, well, that's still a human being, that's still a person. And how many of us at 18, have made some stupid choices. Yeah. I'm a little older than that, I've made some bad choices. What? So, for me, I just feel as though this situation sucks. But if we be honest, 
This is the industry. This is the industry. Well, you guys, that is it for me. I told y'all this is not going to be a long, drawn out video. I wanted to get this information up to you guys. Make sure that you guys um, look further into it. Um, if it's something that you guys would like for me to um, keep you guys uh, abreast with, um, to see exactly how this um, continues, um, just let me know because this is very interesting, very, very, very interesting and very disturbing. Like I'm serious. It's the comments for me. Okay. Let me let y'all see this real quick. I want y'all to hear this. Let me share. Uh, and then we're going to wrap this up because I want to get out here in an hour. Look at these comments on this particular site. Look at the ignorance. Okay. Look at the absolute ignorance. And like I said, it's the comments for me. All right. Let me get myself down here. I want y'all to look at some of these comments, okay? Under this particular article. Polo the Don only likes white women, though, allegedly. Sex abuse is reserved for colored girls when the rainbow isn't enough look at this one a jamal young blood her head is huge it's the ugly ass people they be trying to come for somebody else. Like it, it is, 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 is weird to me. It's the people that hide in blackness and darkness that ha have the nerve to put their mouth on people. It, it irritates me. Let's continue with these comments. They all are predators and their DMs should be ignored on GP. Praying on young, stupid girls, per. Well, I agree and somewhat disagree because uh, you ain't got to be stupid. You can be very smart and very tact. But we all got some areas that we can further educate ourselves and further do better in. We can and that very little small crack is when the enemy will zip, 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 do die his behind on up in there. But I wanted y'all to hear um, these, these uh, comments. Listen to this, okay? Listen to this asinine comment and we're gonna roll on up out of here. I would love to pay attention to this story. However, I am very distracted by the tragic lace front in this first pit. And wonder, damn, what kind of moisturizer she uses on her skin? Baby, sis is shea butter down to the shea butter gods. That's all I got for this story. I limit my elves to people I actually recognize. I'm not big on celebrity culture like that. I opt out years ago. I need my brain cells. It's comments like this that I ask the question, why, why the hell do you even comment? Comments like this made me be like, I see that you have no home training. Hell, we need to ask you where your parents were when you decided to make an acidon comment like this. Why are we so deflective? It pisses me off because I have people to do the same thing. When I'm talking facts, when Whitney's speaking truth, you want to talk about my eye. When that has nothing to do with anything.
We're so reflective as a community because we don't want to deal with the, the helping issue that we have some black, I'm about to say some other words, we got some black sick people out there. Why is it that a person can't be sick because they're black? I just don't understand that. You got some sick white people, you got some sick Asian people, you got some sick gray people, you just got sick people, period. And you got commenters like this that are making reference to her lace front. When this girl was basically date great. Are we missing that? She was 18, y'all. She couldn't consent sexually, and she damn sure wasn't in the right mind to be signing any contracts. <sighs> but anyways, you guys, we're about to roll on into an hour, and I know my playback gang. Playback gang, gang, I love y'all. Those that are playing in the back, make sure you guys put... um some boots in the comments or in the chat and put a hashtag playback gang. I love y'all and I love y'all support. Um, Again, we got to get out of this a means of people being of illegal, uh, um, a legal age um, when it comes to abuse, because no matter how old you are, you shouldn't have to get uh, abused. You shouldn't be manipulated. And things to that nature. It's asinine for people to actually roll with that theory that stuff like this is okay. Again, I, I watched Nicole. I, I stumbled on her real late in the game. Um, she was well in the millions whenever I started watching her because I, I saw her with the little, you know, hair and little faces. And I was just like, girl, I'll be wanting to wake up and roll over on my channel and be looking just the same way sometimes. But baby, I ain't, I ain't got the courage. I, I got the courage to look like that. But um, she's a beautiful young lady. And I feel like she just made a bad choice. You know, a very, very bad choice. And I just pray that um, this all gets resolved. I pray that the freaking contract gets thrown out. I mean, because what can you say about the age? I mean, yeah, it, it looks, it sounds disgusting. 18 and 40. You know, does it happen every day? Absolutely. Um, it, it does. It does happen. Did it happen back in the day? It did. Because a lot of us back then were not as protected as the children of this world is now, uh, fortunately, you know, and it's time out for these antics and these behaviors, period. Okay. But not for nothing, you guys, that is the video. Um, now it's time for you to tell me what you guys think in the comments down below. While you are there, please, please, please make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already okay make sure in the comments you keep it cute so you won't get the boot okay uh shout out to youtube they are buckling down on that i don't really have to do a lot of removing of comments they just do it on behalf of them you know so i appreciate that if you have anything that you would like to send to me send it to reviews with at gmail.com pertaining to a story pertaining to straight talk or whatever, which we will be um, here on tomorrow for another episode of Straight Talk. Make sure you guys tune in, okay? Not for nothing, you guys. I love y'all so very much, but most of all, God loves you. And you guys stay encouraged and stay safe out here in these streets. It's, it's crazy, all right? I love you guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. What up, what up, you guys? We need to be here for Winnie DCD, and we have fun!